Let's start this off with a fun fact. Although we typically think of modern planes dropping massive ordnance on targets when we hear the term bombing, the first bomb was actually dropped all the way back in 1849. They were strapped to unmanned balloons by Austrians who dropped them on Venice. Since then, as planes became more sophisticated, so did the way they dropped bombs. There are three main ways it was done in the early days, but we'll include an extra one for you, which was not typically done, called the idiot's loop. The most common bombing technique is high altitude bombing. As the name suggests, the plane is in a level flight at altitude and drops the bombs using a bomb site. This technique was widely used and perfected during World War II. Skip bombing was also invented during that time. Because naval battles were common, shooting a ship with winged mounted guns or trying to hit it with a bomb dead on took a lot of precision and could have little effect. By skipping the bombs in the water like a pebble in a pond, bomber crews had a bigger chance of sinking a ship when the bomb slammed and exploded on the side of the hole. It wasn't an easy or safe task, but it was effective. Another technique, dive bombing, was invented during World War I, but gained prominence during World War II. This tactic called for a light bomber or fighter plane to dive from altitude, typically at 45 to 60 degrees, and release the bomb close to the ground while hitting straight for the target and quickly pulling up. This was dangerous as it exposed pilots to the ground fire and also put tremendous g-forces on their bodies, but it was more accurate than the two other techniques that we just mentioned. Last but not least, we have the over-the-shoulder bombing technique, but pilots nicknamed it the idiot's loop for obvious reasons. Using a B-47 Stratajet back in 1957, the test crew pulled up aggressively from low-level flight and released a bomb just past their vertical axis, then completed a loop and continued on. By doing so, the bomb still traveled up and over for some time, allowing the crew more time to clear the blast area. This was done with nukes in mind. Hope you had a blast watching this. <laughs> Sorry, that was pretty bad. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this. And if you have any ideas that you want us to put together, just drop us a line in the comments section. You are now free to watch any cat videos you'd like. Good one.